Now, you just got your Switch, and you have no idea how to get to the internet. So, this is going to be your guys' video. I had the same issue, um, and I'm just like, are we set up? Are we good? Are we not good? What do we do? Um, yeah, let's jump into the Switch. Let me know if you guys do have this guy, and if you guys do, maybe we could play a game or two. So, shoot me a comment below. Okay, here we go. You want to go to the bottom. You want to come all the way over here to System Settings. Click A. And you want to come down here to internet. You want to click on this. Now, at the top, I know my face is kind of covering. I got a couple things here hidden. You want to do internet settings. Now, from here, it's going to search your networks. Very simple. Search your networks. Again, I'm blurring a lot of this options. Find the one that is yours. Find the one that you're going to be using, if it's a wired connection or if it's a whatever it is. Once you do click on it, it's going to ask you to um, put in the, the, the password. Make sure you put in the password. I was having issues with the 2G at first, but I did jump onto the 5G. If you have any issues where the internet's not connecting, unplug the, the modem and router, turn off your switch, plug in the modem router again, turn back on your switch. I figured that the 5G was working better than the 2G no issues whatsoever now the other thing too is if you want to do a test connection you go over here to test connection and it's going to test everything about this thing it's going to say the name the ssid it's going to say if it's successful your global ip address your net time the most important thing here is your download speeds and your upload speeds download speed is all the information that's coming into your device if you're downloading a game, if you are playing a game online and it's downloading all the data from whatever it is, upload speed is everything that is being sent to online, everything that's that you're going to send out from your device. So remember, down is coming in, up is coming out. Now, with these devices, it doesn't need too much um, of the connectivity because everything is just going to work really, really good, really, really fast. It could be 10 megabytes and everything works amazing. It could be one megabyte. And I've had no issues with this thing at all whatsoever when I'm playing online. So just keep that in mind when you guys are um, doing all this stuff. So yeah, that's how you could test your connections. And then of course, if you need anything else, this is where you're going to do it. Um, you could do data management, um, users, like all that stuff. So I wanted to make sure you guys just get an easy and quick video that way you guys can understand exactly how to connect it, how to fix any of your issues. It's very, very simple. Um, yeah, and then the my last tip is if you do have any kind of issue still, try the wired connection. Once you're hardwired and you're logged in, then switch over to your Wi-Fi and then log in. Sometimes when you're initially setting it up, you do have those issues. So let me know what you guys think. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.